Okay, so the chair's name is Theo and it comes from uh, Theo van Duisburg. Um, uh, Theo van Duisburg is a very famous Dadaist and as everybody knows, I mean Dadaism is part of modernism. Being a modernist architect and having Dadaism in my back of my mind made that this chair as a certain, I mean, at a certain point, it has a very surreal um, view and, and uh, perspective. And uh, I mean, physically, I mean, when you see it, I mean, it's almost like a, a classical, traditional uh, chair with armrest that is floating from the uh, from the floors. Actually, it was a very big challenge to really keep the, uh, the proportions very well studied and in balance with, with, with actually a structure which almost is imbalanced. But if you see it on the side, um, it, 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 it has the nice angles, it has the nice tension, uh, it has a nice contrast and it's still a very sharp and timeless piece that can fit in whatever, whatever environment. When it's in leather and in black chrome, it becomes more classic, more uh, executive. Whether it's in color, it becomes more young and more playful. What is really important, what BMB wants to achieve, they really want to have this kind of unique and exclusive products that stands forever and that are still BMB, as we used to know BMB for years, and that we don't want to be, um, let's say, overwhelmed by this kind of overproduction of design and ideas and forms where everybody's get lost in it. I mean, I think I'm very, very happy with the way how they, they show their furniture pieces this year because you can really read that all the pieces they stand on their own and which and they carry their own identity according to the identity of each of the designer and at the same time they're all BMB products.